wait did christmas come early okay it sure did hey guys what's up this is shuri from e gadgets for you and here i have oops it's heavy yes okay this is a asus rog zephyrus g14 my brand new laptop so without further ado let's dig deep into this okay, guys so this is the packaging of the asus rog zephyrus g14 you see the rog branding over here and there is a seal pack over here so it's time to bring my knife very carefully going ahead and cutting open the seal okay the seal is cut now let me just try and open this and you see the inner contents over here just like that it's actually uh, yeah i'm cramped for space and yes uh, let me first take out this particular box and see what it is there right over here because we can be sure that this is a laptop box for sure but what type of box is this let us just come oops okay uh, i hit the camera sorry so it's just a protection box over here anyways move aside let us just go ahead and take out this okay apart from that you see over here i find something over here okay yeah this feels very cushy and very soft okay let me just go ahead open the packet from here and here you get this but okay that's our laptop carrying box over here you see it's written for those who dare that's a daring statement republic of cameras rog branding uh, you see the, over here to carry the charging bricks and everything you get the point over here and to carry your laptop you get it over here okay that does feel so good uh, let me just remove this yes it's a good that's a nice addition that they have actually included okay this is a box actually this is a bag you need to carry it just you just you have to press press your hand and carry it anyways let us keep aside the box and dig deep into the main box for now okay now let us just take out this uh heavy box over here okay taken out this box and i'm getting rid of the big box now it's done okay as you can find out this is the actual box of the rog sephiroth so let me just go ahead and open it and yes okay so that is a good effect i don't know whether the camera can catch it not whether i have when i am pushing this particular box you see that the laptop oozes out like that and yes most importantly this is the thing that we are looking for in the box and we have got the asus rog zephyrus g14 over here let me keep aside this particular laptop for now and dig deep into the other aspect that comes inside the box again if i open this particular box i get this particular box okay here uh there is absolutely nothing i can see these are just packaging wonders but yes apart from that over here if i do find something as you can see i get this cable i'm just opening this particular cable right now putting aside this plastic cover for now uh, this is the cable to actually charge your laptop i guess yes uh no actually this is a cable to charge the brick that comes with the laptop and this is a charging point so the brick uh apart from that if you see over here you get this particular 180 watt charger straight out of the box as you can see yeah it says 180 watt over here so you get the you get this actually power brick over here and this particular thing it goes over here just like that let me just open this seal for now ah ah okay so this is it yeah it goes like that this is a power adapter you see that rog branding over here as well so for now let us just dig into the laptop now so guys this is a laptop over here the rog zephyr z14 branding you can find it over here uh, let me just put up the laptop like that yeah you can find the branding and of course you will see that it says a 7 nanometer x86 mobile cpu uh, actually it's powered with the amd ryzen the 4000 series chipset and you get the 76 uh, watt hour of battery the 120 hertz display panel ips label panel as well pro or true color technology the wi-fi 6 certified and 65 watt type c charging yes there's a type c port you if you want to charge with the type c you can get it by a 65 watt type charging other than the proprietary cable it comes with 180 watt charging and the dolby atmos so let's just go ahead and peel out the plastic uh, for the very first time 
Okay, here it is. Oh, that does give a wonderful feeling. And yes, here is a, oh, actually it's very, very light. A precisely 2.3 kgs of weight. Let us just go ahead and at the first take a look at the back. Towards the back, you will find this ventilation port over here that is actually over there to remove the hot air from inside the system. Actually, no, these are the intake fans. My mistake. These are the uh, these are these are for the intake purposes. This particular ventilators are present at the bottom uh, for intake purposes. And for exhaust, you will see on the both the sides, it does provide you with this particular exhaust of the hot airs. So now for the very first time, let us just go ahead and open the laptop. Okay, now the moment of truth, let me just go ahead and uh, power on the device for the very first time. And once it starts up, let me roll the montage and give you the configuration overview over here. The ROG branding appears over here switching on for the very first time and let's see let's go ahead with the setup process as well this will be a full setup tutorial for you as well okay the Windows 10 load up screen is actually loading now uh, I guess we can go through this particular setup continue in selected language I want to start with English United States yes okay it's saying that uh, yes Cortona let's dig in I'll just get rid of you I don't want you shut up don't talk like that okay let me just go ahead and select my country which is India oh, uh, the initial impressions of the touchpad is actually very nice all the two hand gestures and the three hand gestures are working nicely over here so yeah here it's India yes okay now you can't talk Cortona Okay, I want to uh, select, yeah, I want to select, go ahead with the US uh, keyboard only for now. Uh, no, I don't want a second keyboard layout. Let's connect, yes, it has detected my Wi-Fi. Don't be afraid, I've just named my Wi-Fi coronavirus because that is the hero of the year. Anyways, I'm going ahead and giving my security key. Okay, my Wi-Fi is connected and I hit next. Now we have some important setups to do. Yes, we indeed have okay the license agreement if you have enough time you can go ahead and read all this stuff blah 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 but end of the day you have to accept or else it won't go ahead so i'm accepting it okay the next screen asks me to add my account i'll go ahead and add my microsoft account because i have a lot of stuff associated with microsoft accounts uh, for my development purposes and also let me just go ahead and set, up, set those up okay now it says use your fingerprint to sign in faster and more securely actually the fingerprint sensor is a power button over here only so I will, uh, the, this particular power button is a fingerprint sensor so I'll just go ahead and set it up as well. So yes, great, lift and touch, lift and touch. Keep, now try another angle, so of course I will, why not? Yeah, it has detected my fingerprint, now I've got it, now set up a pin. Yes, in case you have a cut or something like that or the fingerprint scanner is not uh, working, you need to set up a pin. So I'm just going ahead and giving my pin for now. Confirming the pin, ah, privacy setting, this is the most important. Uh, thing over here. I don't want any speech recognition. I don't want find my device because I'll never take my laptop outside. We are stuck at home. I don't want thinking and timing. I don't want advertisement ID and uh, I don't want location. I don't want to send my diagnostic data. Never. Tailored experience. No, thank you. So I disabled everything over there and I hit accept. This is the way I like it actually to use Windows. Customize your device. Okay, uh, I will set, I'll do this particular stuff uh, later on because uh, I can do a multiple uh, things over there. So I'm just skipping it and do more across devices with activity history. No, if you want time to another Windows switch, just want to continue with your doing uh, switch devices and Microsoft 
Activity history, never, 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 no activity history. Do not track me on Windows. Okay, get instant access to your Android phones, photos, text notifications, and more. Don't have that uh, Android. Da, da, da. Do it later. I don't want to do it now. Do it later. Back up your files with OneDrive. I don't want this, man. I don't want this. Only set files to this PC. Why will I use OneDrive? For now, I have Google Drive. Although it will. Anyway, it's a topic of discussion for another day. Make the most. Yes, this is this is interesting. Make the most of your 365 with a free Microsoft 365 trial. I I don't have a, a product key. You will need a credit card to start your one month trial after the Microsoft is blah 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 uh, 5300 rupees including this gst per year why why for the time now i'll select no thanks now this is important guys let cortona help you get things done i don't love i don't want cortona not now okay set up your account it's great uh, everything is in place over here i'll just select india yeah here it is i select it and just a second, in the ASUS member registration set up your McAfee security software update account. Ah, who runs antivirus in 2020 in your Windows 10 machine? I don't, I don't know what it is, man. I don't want to set up the security software account like that. Okay, so the setup process is completed. It says, hi, you can see that Windows is telling hi. We are getting everything ready for you. So you just need to get that bit of a time and we will be in very, very soon. And guys, we are here. The new browser recommended by Microsoft is here. It's Edge. Get started. So once in the display setting, you see that, yeah, it does support. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, by accident, I clicked it. So yeah, yeah you, uh, you will see that it does support a 1080p resolution over here. And it has a 120Hz display. Although I'm recording in a 60Hz screen, so I won't be able to let you feel the 120Hz. What it does is actually... Uh, yeah, you see this is so so smooth. I am not sure whether the camera can pick it up or not But yes, it does support 120 Hertz and that, that does comes handy while playing games Which I will make a separate video altogether again. So now guys moment to true Let us just check all the specifications that were supposed to come with this particular laptop So here it is guys moment of truth as you can see that yes it does come with AMD Ryzen 5 4600 HS Radeon graphics 3 GHz chipset it has 8 gigs of RAM, although it's upgradable to 32 gigs. I'll do that down the line later on. Uh, no pain or touch input is available for this particular display. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Windows is activated. Let us just go to device manager over here. And once you are in this device manager, you go to the display adapter. You will see that it comes with NVIDIA GeForce GTS 1650 Ti, which, the, which this particular graphics card is installed over here. And yes, now, this particular laptop cost me around 70,000 INR. I got some discount on my cards, great cards actually. I'll put the buying link in the description as well. And apart from that, it comes with a 1 TB of space as well. Uh, you can find that over here when you go to this PC, OS C. You go to properties over here. It says capacity is 935 GB, which is actually 1 TB over here. I have not done any partition because this is the way I like it to keep it. I'll actually, and all my important files. I store it on my external hard disk so that's not nothing to worry for me. So that is it guys for the quick unboxing and the setup of the ASUS Zephyrin G14. Stay subscribed to my channel, turn on that notification bell because very soon a lot of updates with this particular laptop is coming to eGadgets for you my particular channel. So this will be it for this particular video, bye for now.